hello everybody welcome back to cougar city gaming today we are going to give you guys an insight of what happened a couple of months ago with all the traders and deshaun um i've wanted to make this video for a while i've been really busy plus there was some um incidents that needed to be clarified before i made this video in order to make sure that everything was correct and and such so i wanted to make sure that people were basically you know correct in information and we we saw that uh we acquired all of elden root and we acquired all of wayrest and all of mormold with guilds and some people were like you shouldn't have been getting these traders for crazy amounts of money well how do you know it was crazy amounts of money nobody really knows what was bid unless they were bidding themselves and all of these guilds um they they supported this uh specific uh not not really takeover it was just a message that was being given and these guys wanted to send the message that hey you know we're not gonna take a chance on letting people say we cannot have this trader this is the trader system and eso is basically bid here and if you're outbid you're outbid and then some people are like well some of these guilds did not have anything in them yet there was only two guilds out of the 21 capital cities that didn't have anything in them everybody else had stuff in them um, including all of mournhold and such so uh the reason some of these guilds were basically in a trader after this is because they found an open trader in orsinium out of all places so all these guilds that get you guys to pay that 25k a week they had no backups outside of the capitals guys um the only one that had backups outside of the capitals was d passes guilds and that should give you guys a concern like these guys are taking 25k of your money and they're guaranteeing you capital traders every week well they're not anymore it's the you know you can't guarantee a trader in eso and that's part of the reason what we wanted to to make sure that people understood that no trader is guaranteed yes you can bid and you can have a trader consistently every week but no trader is guaranteed and that is a big message that um, that we wanted to give people to understand that hey, these people they don't control you, um, you know. And you shouldn't feel controlled by them. You can stand up to them and say, "I'm gonna do my own thing," and you'll be fine. We we're doing it, and you know, these guys are not 100% capital traders anymore like you got kicked out of the capitals even if it was once you still got kicked out of the capitals so there you go now a lot of people are saying that um we shouldn't have been in the capitals period and i don't know that's that's kind of weird um the the reddit over here um it says i've never seen guilds that have been there um you know there's guilds that have been there for years in the mournhold um but a few of the guilds have other locations now and some don't even have traders at all and you know some people are saying that a few of the guilds have messaged up about it apparently some trolls bought up um and has nothing for sale yeah two out of the 21 capital spots had nothing for sale the others they're not brand new guilds by the way these guilds have been here for a long time and yes they all had the funds to get these prime trading spots there's a reason why um you know these guys they they wanted to do this and you know some of them have already been bidding in those spots so for some of them they're they're already there they were already bidding in those spots that was that was the thing and here's here's the kicker it says one of my guilds adjusted the message of the day so not only lists sister guilds but also other non-affiliated major guilds in their current locations for the week here's the kicker the mafia or quote-unquote the alliance 
claims that they're working with like 65 guilds right well they for that whole week they only advertised the guilds that were in the capitals and if anything the ones that were in mournhold all the other little guilds smaller guilds that they were basically helping quote unquote helping outside of the capitals that week they never got you know a, a support from them nobody says hey guys go to Winhelm and support like one of these smaller guilds that that we have and i can guarantee you those guilds probably got more traffic that week than they've ever seen in their lives because people were shopping outside of the capitals as well which that's fine i don't mind um you know we cleared a message but guess what guys there was people still shopping in the capitals just because you told people not to shop there it didn't work people were still shopping we are still seeing record number shops and people were buying stuff because they didn't want to listen to you so there you go and somebody says my my guild posted they got outbid by trolls man at least you were honest you got outbid by trolls i don't know man we just wanted those traders that week <laughs> it's not a trolly thing to want a trader and then get put money in it and get that trader so there you go and some people are uh, are saying this this is especially fluff fluff is a known guy that um is with the mafia not the first time this has happened some very special people decided to drop 100 mil plus so they could uh go to mournhold for the week and knowing the cats who run the guilds they aren't going to care one bit um i think you guys cared enough to start advertising and being desperate to get people to your guilds instead of all the guilds that you quote unquote work with so if you were not desperate enough because i saw multiple people advertising the fact that you wanted to to have people go to orsinium for the week to go shop so there you go um and some people are you know saying the guild system has been problematic i do agree but i really do think that um it's it's probably the best is gonna be because auction houses aren't gonna really do much and uh, especially considering that in the mafia quote-unquote alliance they have people that are bought farmers that are in their guilds selling their bought golds their bought mats um marine wife or aka morgan she she's one of them she literally buys mats from bots and sells them like look it up a couple of weeks ago when ataza had some random ass guild guess what that was her selling bot mats out of vivek at ataza yep that was her guys those are bot mats that you're buying so congratulations you know esl does need to to have some to do something but i don't think they're gonna do it and the fact that these people have bought farmers and bought mats in in their guilds is just absolutely disgusting this is why tempering alloys are 1500 to 2k a piece when i was selling them that week for four or five k a piece you know you're wanting to get money for your hard earned work then you should and i really do think that you know drowax tempering alloy rosin now and guess what it's gonna be heartwood and mundane rune pretty soon too which i mean i guess if you're a housing enthusiast that's good for you because you're not gonna have to spend a lot of money but what about those people that are actually farm their mats you know those people their their hard-earned work is gonna get countered and trickled down because people are cheating at the game and bot farming and then people are supporting that and buying from those bot farmers so there you go you know um there's people saying that there's guilds getting yelled at for bidding a trader when it, it was another guild's turn that is correct i mean last week look where hopeless wonders was in in the tree they weren't even at the top stall but 
after this whole shenanigans, which they had no part of, by the way, we weren't targeting them. And they had the top stall in Vivek that week. So I'm not sure why they were so upset that we took the capitals when she didn't really have anything to do with it. But then she went to the mafia or the alliance and is now working with them. And she was in like next to go in Elden Root last week. But now she's in mortal because I guess they had to give and take a little bit. Well, good job, Hope. You're letting them run your fucking guild and where you bid. Congratulations. Because I know how you are and the fact that you let that happen and said that I will not take a top stall in any of the capitals should show that you have succumbed to them. So congratulations, you are a puppet and you're being freaking told what to do. Because if you say and you go on your little rants of like, oh, I don't take orders from anybody, well, you just did. Because if you didn't, you wouldn't be working with them or you wouldn't have been working with them this whole time. But now, after this whole thing happened, you finally let it come to light. We know you're friends with Ruggeru, your besties, the GM of RN Jesus. We know, we know that. So why bother to hide it from your guildies who quote unquote hate the mafia, but you didn't tell them that you were working with the mafia. You wanted to keep that on the down low. Well, guess what guys? It's not on the down low anymore. They are with them. So if you're still in that guild, have fun. I'll let you make your own decisions, but if you hate the mafia, then just know that you're being part of it and you're giving money to that. So congratulations, do with that information what you do. I'm not gonna tell people what to do. It's not my style. I was part of the mafia a long time ago and I just got tired of them telling us what needed to happen and what we needed to do. And we getting bullied so there you go and i mean <laughs> the funny part is that stretch or somebody in the mafia side you know they <laughs> they got together over here and said that we are misinformed and this guy says this guy throwaway account says major yield traders are in a huge group they call themselves the Mafia, which is true, or the Alliance to get it, you know, whatever. There's two traders in major, there's two traders that are in major cities for the week that have nothing in it. If anyone is a day one player, you'll remember that major guild traders will buy a trader with ghost bids. Exactly. And guess what, guys? I'll, I'll tell you right now, I was part of that little scheme because that's when we used to work with the Mafia. And... You know, I was doing what was best for my guild at the time. And it really sucks because I was blinded at that point in time. Um, I didn't think about the the actions that this would take in other people. And I really do not like that version. So I'm sorry about that. Um, I was part of that situation, you know, where they, they would release the trader and then we would hire it. So it is what it is. Um, now, they, they do say a group of independent guilds got sick of the control prices and wanted the little guys to have the opportunity to experience what it's like to have buyers and lower prices on items that has been outrageously high. I think that was the other way around, but, um... <laughs> Now, it's funny because they say what's ironic is that they're encouraging players in chat to explore outside major cities, not just the place they won their bid at, so that other normal guilds can get the chance to have someone to look at their wares, which is true. We actually encourage people to go outside of the capital cities as well and look at what people have. There's only... um. I'm not gonna say a few, there, there is probably a good number of players that do this every week. They go and, and search deals outside of the major capital cities, but it's not everybody. And we want it for people to experience that. Now, <laughs> the funny part is that they did say that they're trying to get us to avoid the major cities for the week. And the <laughs> guilds are exactly 
what they want. Mafia is encouraging people to explore the other traders, and then the traders um, that have nothing in it, that's just a direct screw you to the Mafia that was notorious for ghost bidding back in the day. Oh my god, this guy is so right. I don't know who this is, but it's not anybody in our camp. But they literally said and are right on a couple of things. And they say Mafia is running around kicking members out who are in the same guild as independent guilds, which is why they're not in Trader Finders. Because they want everyone to be able to join whatever guild you want and play the game, not get kicked for being in a specific guild. Guess what? After this whole thing went down, we weren't allowed back, like, we weren't allowed at their auctions. They, the auction community that we had that was supposedly being friendly with them and they were being friendly with us, yeah, that, that went away they don't want us that are at their auctions buying their packs either so guys if you're at the auctions over there and you're selling public packs to support them they're not allowing us to bid on your packs just to let you know that's part of the running around and kicking members and blacklisting yeah there you go guys and <clears throat> The, the Mafia members should rightfully be upset because they're paying the guilds 25k for a top trader. But instead of asking their GMs why didn't they place backup builds in other locations, they're going after the guilds that outbid them. The highest bidder is the winner no matter what. No one is entitled to a specific trader in game. Everyone has the right to bid on and win on whatever trader they want. It's that simple, but Mafia is not looking at it this way. But other unexpected drama was that some anti-mafia guilds ended up being mafia guilds and were on the DL messing up independent guilds bids on purpose to have mafia guilds outbid them. So a bunch of guilds got exposed for all their shady business. So yep, that's about it. Just a little insider who loved popcorn and zone chat. Cannot wait until this weekend. Gonna be a bunch of zone chat drama. That is true. That is so true. There's a couple of independent guilds. Sigic Supreme Order, <laughs> quote unquote um that basically got pissed at us and they're working with the mafia as well guys they have a little deal that hey we get to get go but you guys stay out of our way and <laughs> that's working with the mafia guys like you basically made a deal with the devil so if you're in sigic congratulations you're part of the mafia scheme do with that information what you want to do and stretch saying you're you're misinformed sure okay buddy you're the one running the show so you and kogar or stretch jr quote unquote and <laughs> this guy hot conversation come on you guys know you have bots you know and the reason they charge members because they all split the the bill equally so you're telling me that Goodfella is giving money to other guilds in Mournhold to split the bill? Come on. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. I know how Goodfella is, and he ain't gonna give you money to split the bill equally. So come on. And <laughs> that's that's just funny. Um and they're saying that we are unsuccessful guilds who are anything but consistent we're consistently getting a trader every week maybe not where you think it's a viable spot but we don't care we're getting a trader every week that's consistency that's the definition of being consistent some traders win botters and buy gold okay buddy you're the ones that have botters and buy gold um some just had a birthday auction rigged Huh, Mate Man won that birthday auction, that mama, and I believe the PlayStation 5 that was actually said that they were giving away has been given away. We have proof of that, and they, they have told us that they have received that PlayStation, by the way. So, no, the auction was not rigged, or the raffle wasn't rigged. Mate Man didn't put any money. He actually spent the 50-something million dollar, or million gold, on a week because he bought mats and went lounging like a freaking drunk ass fucker in auctions and such to quote like basically say hey guys i have money so no he didn't he didn't he wasn't part of this and if you think that he gave that money back to mama pain 
you're delusional and you should try to check yourself into a mental hospital and the fact that yes mama pain did help lady rose's guild get that traitor in aiden but it was more to commemorate that hey we love lady rose and it was just a nice gesture for us to remember her by and we know that if she had been here with us that she would have been part of this and she would have loved every minute of it i am absolutely disgusted at the fact that people think that some guilds were not consistent when they're anything but um inconsistent <laughs> and we we are you know little guys they are guild banks and they're notorious goals guilds we keep hearing so much there's only two so there you go and the community was pissed off well guess what why is the community not pissed off of the fact that they have the same traders every week in one hold and you're having to pay like 1500 for tempering alloys and you're selling 1500 to 2000 gold tempering alloys when that week when the bots were outside of the capitals and those guys could not sell we were selling tempering alloys for five six k and we were selling glyphs for five to six k hmm i wonder why chromium platings were sold for like seven to eight k that week it's because you did not have the bots in the capitals guys get with it come on get real you know and that the entire plan did not backfire by the way um <laughs> just because the community was pissed it was the community that you have that was pissed everybody else was enjoying the fact that they had a good trader for the week and the guilds were selling things left and right so obviously your little thing of not having people shop at the capitals didn't work so good job guys good job anyways i'm gonna um i'm gonna end up in this uh note because i don't want to go down the rabbit hole and rant when <laughs> i just told you exactly what happened we took the capitals for a week we wanted to change the message and we did and there you go and with that put this is this is why we had to delay this video a little bit um obviously lady rose has passed and you know we're very very upset that she's no longer in the community with us she was a great person just for the overall community of eso um we miss you lady rose uh we wish that you were still with with us um it's it's just absolutely bad that you know you're no longer in our community um not 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 at heart but just not there we we really do miss you i know mama pain is absolutely still upset and then the other one is um unfortunately put up is also you know in heaven with lady rose looking at us from down there um i know he knew about this situation that was happening because obviously the planning took a while and he knew this was gonna go down and we wish that he was able to see this in in real time um instead of up in heaven but bud put up um i didn't know you as much as the other guys in madhouse did but i'm you know upset that we lost one of our own and you know i do wish that you're looking down from heaven and basically just enjoying that time that we had for for two weeks really um and just enjoying what was happening as much as you know you enjoyed talking about it when when we were <clears throat> planning these things and <clears throat> like i said it's we had to wait for this video just to make sure that we were correct because we hadn't heard from you um and we wanted to make sure that that it was it was the actual thing and it, it was unfortunate because we really didn't want the truth to to be there we wanted you to to basically say hey guys i'm here you know i'm back um after the surgery you know it, we wanted you we wanted you there we wanted for this not to be the the actual truth um and we wanted to to just hear your voice and and just enjoy your company once more and i'm just absolutely devastated that 
we we lost some good people this this uh this year to you know just life and circumstances and you know unfortunately like i said i didn't know you very well but i wish i did um i wish i would have gotten to know you a little bit more but um you know it is what it is man um rest in peace and lady rose you always were so nice to everybody i'm absolutely just upset that we don't have you in the community anymore to to show like the good deeds that and the joys that you brought to this community and the auction community and i know that everybody is going to miss you very very much and it's it's just very hard to to like just have you um not be there when when we're doing auctions and not have you as an auctioneer um i love jay quick but <laughs> um we we all loved you and and jay quick cannot replace you as you know the the other auctioneer but you know nobody nobody can um replace you in in that concept so thank you for for bringing us joys to to the community and put up thank you for for being the the dude that you were and thank you for bringing that joy that you had um from your aussie life and hopefully you know later we'll see you in heaven someday so there you go guys thank you so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe uh to the channel for more content and just for trials and stuff that that we post in usually thank you have a nice night